Okay, a little analysis, a beautiful piece. Um, I play it slower than it probably should be. It's marked moderato and triplet sixteenth notes. Um, but uh, it reminds me of Mozart Requiem in places <laughs> um, and a little bit of Chopin here and there as well. So good influences. Um, nice to be playing in G minor on a classical guitar. Um, one of my favorite keys. One of Mozart's favorite keys as well. Um, I'm not going, it's too long, I'm not going to go into every bar. <laughs> uh, just highlight a couple of things. Um, we have the suspensions at the beginning. We're just looking at this first um, first bar, really. Um, uh, the melody, D, E flat, E flat, D. Okay, it's a simple melody. Two notes, four iterations. Um, the first D is on the G minor chord. Now you could call this E flat major, E flat G and B flat, which does in fact spell out um, E flat major chord. But I'm thinking he's just preparing the suspension, which you're about to hear on the, the dominant of G minor. Remember, to calculate the dominant, you count up five. So G, A, B, C, D. We're going to have a D or D seventh chord for the dominant. And that's what we get. We get a... Uh, but with this suspended E flat on top and top. Now, remember, the classical period loved these dominant sevens with a flat nine on top. Uh, in, in this case, if the dominant is D, the ninth note same as the second, is an E, but because of the key is E flat, so it's a flat nine. And uh, it's got this yearning quality. Yeah. Yeah. I can't sing. Yeah. <coughs> Too early. I'm the world's worst singer, by the way. But uh, it doesn't stop me when I'm practicing for making a, you know, a terrible sound, but it gets me involved in the music. But uh, yeah, too embarrassing to share. Um, <laughs> so it's G so I see this uh, second uh, eighth note beat or quaver beat uh, as being not E flat major, but as still G minor with this uh, flat nine in preparation. Now when you've got this suspension, uh, generally three parts, um, uh, the preparation, and then the suspension, and the resolution, or what used to be called the percussion then the resolution, but percussion is not the right term really. So you got your um, preparation, percussion. And then the resolution. Now the percussion, I wish I knew a better word for it, the sounding of the uh, uh, suspension should be louder than the resolution. You know, you, you want it to be yeah, dum, sort of sighing sound. Um, what you don't want is just loses all its emotional impact. Okay, so that's a beautiful piece and you hear a lot of um, suspensions in this piece and it's got all the usual um, harmonies from for the period, um, tonics dominance and uh, altered dominance and interrupted cadences and um, altered uh, up to sixth chords and so on uh, it's really wonderful and there's this great passage where it goes into a, a descending chromatic run where is it here and uh, yeah, it's just uh, wonderful um, there's too many things to highlight but uh, I want to look at one technical issue with the left hand. This is the third line down the last bar, 
um, where we have D on the 12th fret with the third finger, then the E flat on the fourth string a fret higher. So we don't usually have the second finger at a higher fret than the third finger. And uh, it's this little, where's it gone there? I could do it this way, which is a more normal fingering. But he's got written this, and I quite like it, I enjoy playing it. <laughs> so that's a slightly unusual fingering there. Um, there are moments when I should be using my thumb, but on a 10 string guitar it's not easy. So um, uh, if I was on a, if I were on a, a 7 string guitar, I might use my thumb in some of these places. Um, I will be getting a 7 string guitar returned to me, the luthier has been um, tweaking it, Roman Kuznetsov, a very fine luthier. Um, Okay, um, that's about it. Um, I've never yet, I haven't had a lot of time to play this piece, but I've never yet played it to my satisfaction all the way through. Um, so it's one I'll keep returning to, to hone my Russian guitar technique. Um, and it's musically satisfying enough for me to return to as well. So there we go.